Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That sprint jump sure is a... Um, oh. Oh, I see. Can't get to me? Can this actually, like, stun zombies? Can do anything to zombies? It literally can't do anything to zombies, wow. I figured it'd, like, stun them a little bit or something. There's traps here. I think. Just... Ooh, God! That was so not what I was expecting. <laughs> I got really lucky that I didn't get killed by that. Wow, this place is huge. When the epidemic spread to Seattle, so people made us try to fight. Many died. And then returned to consume the few that didn't. Then the military tried to fight back into shadows. Look around and see how that ended. Probably not so well. You mean I didn't have to go in here? Uh, let's not do that. See some sandbags. I think I have to. Oh, I see. There we go. Man, these contraptions are like very impressively designed, honestly. And what about these soldiers? The new law. I told you. When times change, men must change. We all make choices, Mr. Wayne. In chaos, some choose to show the best sides of themselves. Others, the worst. You must. I worry for the safety of my son. Oh, it's and not what I wanted. Care for too. Oh, fuck this thing again. I think the best thing to do is just sprint. Oh, shit. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was kind of expecting it to be the same as the other one. My mistake. Oh. Nice. That's the way to do it. Remember, I can't swim. Another piece of the page is ripped from the book of the poem that marks the limits of the rat's territory. There's a poem written. Oh, what a marvel it appeared to me when I beheld three faces on his head. When I held three faces on his head, what? Honestly, that doesn't really make sense. Box! You're starting to become my companion cube of this game. Put it right about in the middle. Alright. Hope that floats. Hope it's not like super heavy cedar wood or something. Yeah. Awesome. Can I actually jump this? Oh, hell yeah. This guy's awesome. Innocent people tried to look for a safe place during the great war against the shadows they were crushed to death by a landslide caused by bombing jeez I wonder what makes this like where does the name shadows come from to me shadows are like intangible I don't know Shadows really wouldn't be the word I would go for. It's gotta be... <laughs> this thing is so pathetic. I see a ledge. Oh, I see, I see. There we go. Probably gotta knock it down. 
or not. Whew. I actually didn't know I could keep going. I thought that was in a different, um, different axis. Can I climb this? Okay. Now what? Oh, I see. Bloop. Yeah. Go. Before it drops. So I got a feeling it will. Yep. <laughs> I'd say I'm doing pretty good right now. Is that the rat over there to the left? Oh. I'm so good. Maybe there's a gear stuck somewhere. That's the rat, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Up to the old subway station. When you get to the outside, look for the house that grows in the tree. Find my son before those men do. I can activate the platform And I'll help you find the I doubt if I fell in that water I would die, but I don't even want to test it right now. The less I die, the better. Probably want to go. Shit. <laughs> Whew. Whoa. That stuff just now decided to fall. <laughs> okay. Just make it feel like it's more perilous than it needs to be. You better get out of here. The last written entry written in the diary of one of the survivors who'd hid in the underground station. It seems that the lost hope the army could liberate them. Did you get out of here? Okay, he's not in my axis, so I don't have to worry about him. It's one way to test it anyways. Did he die? Oh no, he just went to sleep. <laughs> he's like, oh man. Well, there's nothing to do now until the next person we comes by. Choices. He chose to build a nest down here in the aftermath of the war. Some might call it survival. Others, denial. He <laughs> literally does nothing. Alright, you guys, come over here. Does this really not do anything? Like, nothing? Yeah, it literally does nothing. And he took my fucking gun! That asshole, and he never gave it back. He took my hammer, too. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I, I don't have any, like, any kind of defense right now. Get out of here. No! God damn it, I take, like, insta damage, too, if I try to jump over a zombie. Come over here. Great, that one zombie didn't follow me. It's the only thing I can think of right now. Come here. Just to make them all fall down in this hole. So not very smart. They'll jump down in the hole with me thinking they can get me and then they're stuck. So, it all works out for me, I guess. I thought maybe there was something I could do, like push them still, but I don't think so. There's like no way I could get to this, because like, you can't jump over zombies. If you try to jump over a zombie, you just immediately take health. North suburbs. The house that grows in the tree. Those were the rat's words. The door's locked. So a tree house. Right? Um What? Oh. That worked. Probably shouldn't have just stood underneath the glass like that though. That could have been dangerous. It's all good. Just give my stamina bar rest there. Oh, shit. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, damn it. 
Like seriously though, how did that happen? Not alive. Well, thanks for the warning. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jump. No, stop. God, we're, I'm dead. There's like nothing I can do here. Oh, jeez. I tried to jump. You gotta be so, like, directly underneath something if you want to jump under it. I was gonna see if I can... Oh, there's a little tiny ledge. How are you supposed to see that? I was trying to jump on that part. Um... I, I, I was gonna show what I was trying to do, but... God will forgive them. Or not. A rosary of wooden beads. There's a cross of white ivory on the end. A Christian would say he's stoned it to his skin. Yada yada yada, it's not go to hell. Okay, let's go. <laughs> This line's gonna break. Maybe not. Might be lucky. No, it looks like I'm lucky. Stamina is going down quick though. Gotta take a break here. Nope, 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 nope. Stamina back and jump into the window. Or don't. As long as zombies can't get me, I'm good. Cutting of the West Seattle Herald, February 8th, 1986. Speaks about an Im imminent move of a famous comet close to the Earth. The astronomic world surrenders to the Halley. Oh my god! Go, 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 go! <laughs> I don't have time to read these things right now, man. Oh shit. Get on the second floor. Go, go, go. Kick that fucking door. Go. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving, moving, moving. There's nothing much else I can do right now, but keep moving. Medkit. I need that. I need that bad. Is he stuck under a couch? How did you even get under the couch? Boom. Let's go. You can use your slingshot to direct the stuff out of range. Oh, the car alarm. Cool. That's a good idea. Hell yeah. Don't come over here. I just... Ah! Jesus. No. Come on, dude. Oh, I'm, I'm boned. Dude, get out of my way. Are you serious? Oh my god. I tried to jump on the fence. Obviously, that was not a smart idea. Try to jump on that fence. Didn't work. I think I'm supposed to jump up here. No? Well, then I don't know what to do. Hit the car alarm. Zombies go over there. Zombies still see me and they turn around. So, maybe I should jump on this, jump on that. It's like I'm just going to end up jumping over the thing again. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Please, for the love of Christ, thank you. Stop. That's what I'm talking about. I was hitting up on the analog stick. And it started making me climb the thing. It's like, sometimes you don't have to be precise. Like, if I'm hitting up, obviously I don't want to go left. But it makes me go left. And sometimes if I'm next to a ladder, it won't let me climb it unless I'm literally right up against that ladder. It's just weird. Weird inconsistencies. In the tree. Here it is. The kid should have been here. Where the hell could he be? I should search ahead. This must be the rat's wife. I get it now. The boy comes here to remember his mother. Ooh, having that flashback moment again. Shannon. Lydia. Photo of a sick woman. There's also a boy in it. She's lying on a bed in the hospital. According to the date of the photo, it seems that she died before the catastrophe. That sucks. Oh. 
Well, I mean, it's good for her that she died before the catastrophe, but it looks like a shootout. Sucks for the kid. Boy, quick. Anybody that knew her, anyways. Who? That's a long ass journal. May 19th. I just read what I wrote the other day. It might seem like I'm an irritable person who doesn't get along well with others, but that's not true. I think I'm happy. I've turned 33. With 33 years behind you, you've lived too long at the same time. Too little. I have a big family. Shannon, my wife, is a wonderful person. She's always understood me, understood my problems. And that's the most important thing for a man. Besides, she's a great cook. For more than 10 years, I've carried her smell with me, in my clothes, in my hair. Then I was stuck in a rut. I was like the driver of a train about to derail, too fast, too shaky, too nervous. They used to say so. She helped me to get back on the right track. She and the new job, you know, the job in the woods. Later, Lydia came, my daughter. The beautiful Lydia. The girl was a blessing. I think that they are the most important people in my life. Well, I don't just think so. It's the truth. People don't like the truth. People say that they believe in something that later they forget or betray. People betray you easily. I will never betray them. It's deep. 